Can you're I okay to me. You're doing okay. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. All right. Um, so I will be your MC for today's event. The ever surprising Mike Simpson is our interviewer. So you'll get a chance to talk to him. Capo Dave Williams, who is the founder of Open Mic America, will be handling the engineering duties. He also builds guitars, incorporating some unique design features that work amazingly well, which I can say with some authority because I bought one and I love it. But I digress. This program exists to support and to raise awareness of local open mic venues, where the talent and creativity of folks, much like you'll hear tonight, can be enjoyed live. Songwriters give a voice to human experience. Historical portraits put to music from a variety of different perspectives, which help us to understand, appreciate, and even to enjoy our differences, as well as recognizing the commonality lying beneath. Technology provides us with the ability to give you a sample of the emotion, the wisdom, and the insight that independent songwriting offers all across America, wherever the sign says, open mic. So look for it and go for it. And now it's time to introduce our first performer, who is Hank Stone from Patchogue. Uh, and I just lost the sheet. I'm a new kid, so this is going to be perfect. Patchogue, New York. East Patchogue, New York. So, hey, take it away. All right. Thank you. When I was young, I often tried to stay up all night long to greet tomorrow's sunrise coming on so strong. But when dawn's rosy fingers Pull the earth into light They found my teenage body Lying there With my eyes shut tight The sun's gonna rise The moon is gonna set That's the only certainty That we will ever get Silver and the sun is gold. That's the truest fortune that's ever been foretold. And after the eagle landed on the sea of tranquility, some joker looked up at the face of the man of the moon. He said, there's nothing there that I can see. Why would this fool want to cheat himself out of such a beautiful truth? Twelve men walked upon another world, wonder of my youth. The moon's going to rise, the sun's going to set. That's the only certainty that we will ever get The moon is silver and the sun is gold That's the truest fortune that's ever been foretold So make your movies, sing your songs Tell a fantastic tale About some interplanetary escapade Or a good old-fashioned whale The characters will come and go And gaze up at the sky To see the stars and planets Swirling around And they surely will ask why gonna rise the sun's gonna set 
That's the only certainty that we will ever get. Moon is silver and the sun is gold. That's the truest fortune that's ever been foretold. Ah,、oh, that's the truest fortune that's ever been foretold. Nice to be、uh, up first because I get to re- rest and <laughs> put a rest and just listen to everybody else. This song is about the sun. That had the moon and the sun in it. This morning the sun rose right out of the sea. I took it for a lesson in. Possibility. Water gave birth to fire. That old devil is a liar. And this morning the sun rose right out of the sea. Last night my heart lay down. It dreamed of the abyss, but it refused to leap. Darkness gave way to joy. Tell every girl and boy that this morning the sun rose right out of the sea. You know you still got something to say. There is life left in the day. We've made a few mistakes. Okay, maybe more than a few. But if we punish ourselves, how does that help us to pull through? Fear gives way to love. We look to the heavens above. Tomorrow the sun will rise right out of the sea. How do we know? Because this morning the sun rose right out of the sea. Yes. Thank you kindly.、Uh, I, I should have mentioned this when you started,、uh, but apparently your favorite open mic. Uh, venues is the North Shore Original Open Mic and Cinema Arts Center in Huntington, New York.、Uh, every Wednesday, is it? Yes.、Uh, so、uh, everyone out there in Cyberland、uh, can look for you there. So、well, now it's time for、uh, Mike Simpson to uh, uh, give you a little quiz. Great. All right, Hank Stone. Little quiz it is. How you doing, man? Do you、I'm、have crickets?、Good. Do you have crickets where yeah, you are? Yeah, I'm out in the backyard here because、uh, our air conditioner conked out yesterday,、oh, and、uh, <laughs> oh, we can't、no、get、bad. anybody to come in until Tuesday. So <laughs> I、no、figured、bad. I'll play outside. Well, starting with the first song,、uh, it, it, lovely lyrics and all that, but I really like the the drive. To the the rhythm that you have in that, and the way that you've yoked the drive of the guitar to the drive in the lyrics. That's that's some that's some good work you're doing there. I, I really appreciate.、It. How long you been writing this, Hank? Oh, fifty years or more. Long, you know.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, so、um, what、uh, what brought that one out? What what raised that song up? Hmm. I'm trying to think of the original part. I was just reminiscing a lot of songs in the past. Five or ten years have been、uh, bringing back childhood memories and、uh, you know things when I was a kid and were a teenager and 
that may end up as, a, as an album together, you know, different things. But that was kind of like, you know, remember trying to stay up all night and you never make it, you know, <laughs> you always crash. Right. Before. And uh, uh, then the second verse, of course, has to do with uh, the moon landing deniers, you know, and just uh, yeah. taking issue with them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Somebody's got to do it. Uh, and the second one, where did that, where did that arise from? Uh, I guess in the last few years when we've had a lot of... Uh, social political uh <laughs> chaos going on and it's just uh, trying to find some way to be hopeful and uh i think i found a little bit of it there at least for myself and you know from having heard you before i would i would venture a guess the that uh, you'll agree with me when i say i think you keep that notion of being helpful to the front of your mind when you're writing is that right i do try I, yeah. I, I do have some darker songs too, but I, I you, know, yeah. well, you don't want to always bring an audience down. So, yeah, that's true. Um, so, what do you do? I mean, I hear the avoid the dark thing. That's good. What do you do actually as a songwriter? What actual action do you take in your songwriting to try to make a song helpful to an audience? Hmm, that's a tall question. Let's see if I can uh, leap it. <laughs> Uh, what do I do to try to make it? Uh, hmm. I don't know. I just I kind of follow wherever it goes. A lot of times I find I don't know what the first lyrics that come up to my mind. I don't know what they mean necessarily, but I'll realize they relate to something I've been thinking about in the previous weeks, and I'll just kind of kind of fold that into it if, if I'm lucky enough to. So you're taking the times, stuff that, that pops up and then you're attaching it to actual uh, memory and experience as you do it. That yeah, I guess like, sometimes, yeah. Yeah, it yeah. seems like that would work. All right. Well, you've done a, you've done this a number of times. So how are we doing? How do you think of Open Mic America? I love it. It's uh, great to hear people from across the country and uh, see what they're up to and uh, look forward to uh, hanging out and, you know, getting a glimpse of uh, other approaches to songs. Yeah. Well, thank you for that. And it was good to hear you. I hope we'll hear you back soon. And uh, I'm going to send you back to Steve now.